Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Insider Gamer, welcome to Saloon Simulator, the playtest, uh, big thank you for the guys for allowing us access to the playtest, if you guys want to get access to this, I'll put their Steam page in the description down below, and you can apply for access now as well. So this is a game that's on my wishlist, I'm quite excited for this game, so let's see what this game's all about, uh, let's see uh, how it's looking, and uh, let me know in those comments if this is something that you might like to see once it does come out into full release. Starting a business here is going to be a challenge. Okay, so we're into the game. I've got two dollars fifty. Go to the saloon. I'm assuming this is my uh, my saloon, right? Okay, maybe that's not mine. Ah, no, the saloon is the big one in front of us. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, so time to use some muscle and make my way inside. Okay, we've got to tear these off. Oh, great, and they're all just going to sit there now, too. Now what? Using the trash bin. The bucket is now in your possession. Check on your radial menu, hold tab. When you have the trash bucket in your possession, you can collect garbage found in the saloon. Okay. Damn, what a flea pit. I was expecting the saloon to be abandoned, not devastated. Oh, I've got to find the bucket first. Now oh, that's why. There you go. So the bucket is here. All right. Let's start with the trash. Okay. Well, that's pretty broken. We do have a capacity uh, on the bin. Oh. Just throwing. Didn't mean to throw that. Pick that up. Oh, a spit bucket. Wow. Right. Okay, there's 30 pieces of trash in here, so. Better find a place to dispose of this right away. Okay, the bin's out the back. Locked. If I can't find the key, I'll have to force it open. There must be a dump around here somewhere. The whole town by the looks of things. I don't know how the hell uh, we're expecting to uh, make any money. Garbage dump. The presence of garbage in saloon discourages guests negatively in reactions and number of visitors and your tips. You can collect single pieces of garbage, whole bags of them, make sure the garbage dump disposal. Okay. Which I'm assuming is this pit here, right? Done. Does anyone even visit this town? Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, leave the note left at the dump site. Okay, let's have a look. Hey, Blueberry Fox, I'm heading out for a while. Feels like a search for Dulcina. Might take a little longer this time. Don't expect me back anytime soon. More likely early April with my usual stash of fines. In the meantime, pile up the trash as high as you like. I'll take care of it when I get back. The 1st of April is tomorrow. Might be worth a look. Assuming, of course, that Charlie has left this note this year. It's a very good point. Okay, select the, the broom. That's fine. Self-explanatory, isn't it, really? Uh, does... Where is the broom? Broom? Anyone? Okay, we've got, like, a kitchen here. Got some kind of back rooms. Well, yeah, it'd be nice if I knew where the broom was. It was right next to the post. So that's why I shouldn't have run away. There it is, look. This will come in handy. there's any floor under this dirt
There's still more rubbish down here yet. Okay, arranging your furniture. So, furnishings like chairs can be picked up. Uh, you can place them anywhere you like. All right, that seems. Uh... Now, this is as good as it gets. It's time to set up the chairs and tables. Not quite yet. We need to tidy up the place, man. Okay. And I kind of like how they attach to the table. That's cool. Well, you're you're kind of okay where you are, to be honest. Just need a couple of chairs. Yep, each table needs to have four. Guests of the Blueberry Saloon. Blueberry is not an abandoned as it seems. Engage in conversations with guests of the town site by pressing on them. Okay, that's fine. As you encounter more significant characters, information about them will be recorded in the journal. Press J. Don't whistle at me there, sir. Done a fine job setting up Butterfingers. Is that my name, Butterfingers? I must say, the rat droppings on the threshold caught my eye. Did you come up with this decor yourself? I did. It's my business what happens to this place. We both know that ain't true. Have you forgotten the agreement you made with Mr. Locke? Do you know this man? I know he'll be mighty disappointed if we don't handle a sensitive matter right now. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you only what you gotta know, Butterfingers. They call me W, and as long as you run the saloon, we're tied together like tumbleweeds in a dust storm, whether you like it or not. The name's Cheyenne, and I don't think I need to listen to you. I know your name. And Mr. Locke knows what's going on here. Quit wasting our time and follow me. But how to... Alright, we're following the stranger. Oh, he's taking me up to one of the bedrooms. Oh, I know what this means. I hope I brought the Vaseline. Got the keys to the whole dang saloon, do you? Get in. Oh, it's happening. Jesus. That's... That's a fresh corpse? Fresh? They've been lying here for a few hours. Come on, there's nothing to see. Help me clean it up. No fucking way, W. This is murder. If we get rid of the body, it'll be merely a mysterious disappearance. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. What is this man even doing here? He is lying dead. Stop asking stupid questions and get to work. I saw a rag here somewhere. You know what to do. Okay, find the rag. Oh god, what rag? Changing life of a bartender. Before you be PC7 drinks and the wealthy old men, not so fast. The rag that you require will come in handy for wiping bloodstains. Oh. What did I get myself into? Sorry, mate. After you clean up the blood, take the body to Casey. She's the local mortician. Another one of Locke's associates? I wouldn't call her It wasn't that. meant to be this way. At least not to her face. She just does what she can to stay alive. Like we all do. After picking up the body, you can bring it to the mortician place inside a coffin. Okay. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. Nothing to see here, just a person carrying a person. What a surprise. You're one of them after all. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't even want to go in. Alright, this is messed up. One of whom? What are you talking about? I'm just here to run the saloon. And you ended up carting around dead bodies. Do you know who he was? No idea. He poured drinks before you. Wait, you're kidding me, right? I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Welcome to Blueberry, I'm Casey O'Hara. How shall I inscribe your grave? They call me Cheyenne. Can you tell me how not to end up like this? Do what W tells you. Don't ask questions, and don't look for answers. Can I buy a pre-need plan, or...? Just stick a $5 bill in your boot and don't worry about it. I'll make sure you get a proper send-off. Thanks. That's surprisingly comforting. At your service. Shame their mouths don't move. Okay, so this is a weird, messed up place, isn't it? Let's get back in here then. What's he gonna teach me now? Done. Let's wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your second job when the time comes. Second job? Relax, Cheyenne. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the balcony. That's the signal for you to head to the barn. Understood? And you will scratch me behind my ear after a good done job? I'm not a dog, but I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? You don't. Heh, <laughs> you're a smart ass, you know. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. Longer than the previous owner? Huh? Hmm. So Casey spilled the beans, huh? He made some bad choices, but I thought, no, enough of that. Get to work. Show me what you can do. Give me a good old stone fence, now. Are you talking about a drink, or do you need a stable? Drink. So, how'll it be, partner? Okay, when you stand behind the counter, you can start preparing orders. Some characters have their favorite drinks, give them one, and watch the result. You may gain appreciation or a special gift. Possible to distract someone to avoid trouble by offering them their favorite drink as well. Okay. This is your barman assist panel. From here, you can serve guests any kind of drink they may imagine. Now it's time to check how it works. Check what drink the customer has ordered. The information is displayed at the top and the bottom. Okay, so stone fence. Later on in the game, if anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process. Okay. So, bar glass. Next step. Pour two ounces of whiskey. Okay, pour one ounce of cider. Okay, next step, put ice cubes. Now mix the ingredients, drag the spoon over to the glass, okay. All right, okay, I gotta finish the drink. How's that for you, W? That's what I fucking needed. Language. If I'm going to make more of these, I'm going to need supplies. Don't worry about that. I know a supplier goes by the name of Jack. I've already let him know that he should start coming to Blueberry again. He will be here soon. Appreciated. Well, I've only got two pound forty-eight no in the problem, bank, partner. I sure hope no one else has to make stone fences for me. Yeah. Pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. All right. Do I have to clean them and everything as well. All right, hang on. There's just money kicking around. Okay, these are my bits and pieces. Okay, opening the saloon. You can either open or close by using information on the board. Okay. We've got a couple of glasses. We don't have much. I'm going to take the money. Any other money kicking around? 
I've got nearly ten dollars now. How did that happen? Right, okay. Wants us to open. Here goes nothing. Yes, yeah, so I can put in the trash. I mean, this whole place looks a bit trashy, to be honest. Welcome to the Blueberry Saloon. Good day. I don't even know what this is. We'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, let's make some drinks. He wants whiskey on the rocks. Okay, he wants a bar glass. Three ounces of whiskey. And some ice cubes. I don't think I need to mix it, do I? He wants a whiskey on the rocks as well. By golly, this drink is the bee's knees. Damn, the liquor is running out. Where's this trader? Hey, yeah, this guy wants a stone fence. By golly, this drink is the bee's knees. Okay, then it's ice. Sounds like a traveling cart. It's better be the trader. This drink is so damn good, it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. Okay, selling new supplies, Jack will be at your service from dawn to sunset, interact with him. Okay. Me scusi, you must be Cheyenne. In the flesh. And you must be Jack, the supplier. Supplier? Mio amici. I'm your compagno on this nasty sea of sand. Giacomo Allegretti. But the locals call me Jack. All right, Giacomo Jack. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm going to need your help. I can smell a good deal from a mile away. And I smell it here. We'll make a deal, Cheyenne. Just tell me what you need. Can you get me some alcohol and supplies? I need to get this business rolling. Stay calmo, amico. Just show me the dollars and I'll deliver what's needed. Okay, so this is all good. But where's the ice cubes? <laughs> Echo. Thanks. Will you come in for a drink? I'd love to, but not now. I have to take care of the cart. Then see you around. See you. I'm packing the assortment. So I pick up the crate from the back of Jack's cart. Okay, so I've actually got to sort all this out as well. Let's... Where does the water go? The bar is open again. Damn, I might just cry. People are throwing money on the floor. Hello, barkeep. Come closer, young lad. What can I treat you to? Howdy, name Samuel. Welcome to the land where dreams ain't just dreams. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne, and for me the town looks deserted. 
Just looks, my friend, just looks. Blueberry's got its secrets, I can tell. You're sharp. You must sense it, too. Can't say I do. What's your trade, Sam? The only real job there is, with all due respect. I'm a gold prospector, and I own the local open pit mine. Gold? In Blueberry? Come by my house and give me a hand with the mining. Got a special contraption, just needs a little... Doesn't sound entirely fair. We can work out the details later. Don't let it bother you. Now, listen. Could you make me something to eat? I'm starving. I think so. <laughs> I think so. One thing, though. Yes? Till my contraptions churn in, can't pay in cash. What can you offer, then? If you make a meal just the way I like it, I'll have a special gift for you in the future. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Okay. Worth a shot. Grab a pot from the wall, place it on the stove and start cooking. Okay. I like the fact that we got other this things to do. A renovation. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this sack. I can just live out there for a minute. Okay, so we got a pot. If you want to cook something for your guests, you need to get an appropriate recipe for the dish. So we're going to track this, which is biscuits and gravy. Okay, so add two pieces of organ meat. Mm. Oh. Oh, I can't pick up this one. Add a butter. Add tack. We've got to add three of these. Uh, the meal does not need any spices, okay. Oh, God. Now you need to apply the heat to your dish. Maximize the flame by clicking the space bar while the cursor is over the green tile. Okay, I have no idea if it's actually any good. Okay, the serving table clearly is in here. Thanks, you won't regret this. Hey, that cobweb's back. I'm assuming I've got to use the rag for this. All oh, right, they're all they're all coming in here. So you want a stone fence? Okay, that's fine. Okay, you just want a straight whiskey. This drink is so damn good it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. Yeah, you want a whiskey on the rocks. By golly, this drink is the bee's knees. Oh, I gave him too much. Yeah, you like a whiskey straight? Pure liquid bliss, partner. What's up? Hey, Bet stop you it. Can't even run no more. Take it out.
Occasionally, your customers will pick fights with each other. This depends on the mood of the salon. Sometimes they agree to drunkenness. Okay, first says which combat's the aggressor and which is attack. Grab any object and throw it. Okay. Side. Hey, enough. End this now. Who's your aggressor? Electrifying. Oh, he's dead. Oh no, this isn't the way things are supposed to go. Messy bunch of people here. Unconscious. Can't leave him here like this. Hope someone in town can help. Good day. Ah! There's the doctor. What the fuck is that? Hey, you. Do you know a doctor? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Oh, great. Will he survive? What happened to him? Got hit in the head. He looks fine to me, but the fact he is unconscious can be worrying. Damn. So what do we do now? Ring? Is he... Your friend? Will you take care of him? Nah, just served him a drink. Hmm. All right. Then pick him up and follow me. I am here. If you find someone injured, bring them to me. I'll patch them up and get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful. And so will the people we save. I'll do my best, Doc. See you around, Cheyenne. Okay, so we've got to bring people to the doctor if they're in need. That's fair enough. Yeah, I definitely can't get ice. Let's hope it's peaceful for the rest of today. We can only hope. Yeah, you want a straight whiskey there, sir? Not a problem. Damn, they're liking this uh, straight whiskey. Cheers to the bartender. Who just smashed a glass? That's all I heard. Okay, this guy wants a stone fence. This Just... drink is so damn good it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. Of course, this guy wants a stone fence. This madman come up with this time. Oh, I've really messed up this one. Pure liquid bliss, partner. Alright, apparently I gotta go to the barn. How's business going, Cheyenne? 
I heard from Jack that supplies are flowing. Can't complain. But what's on your mind this time? Same as always. I want to help you with your business. See that wagon over there? And the dead body. Do I even want to know? Trust me, you do. Here's a crowbar. Time to get to work. I use this barn to dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Just be careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. How exactly? It's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. If you happen to come across a chest, try to open it. If there's a body on, we've got that covered too. Ah, uh, Casey and her irreplaceable services. This is a messed up exactly. town. Exactly. Love that we're hiding things in the hay. Ah, I see a body. Where's the other wheel? Good. Remember the show about Hank Custer, the one who bragged about the very old fashion with peach and lemon peel, boasting about making the outlaws tremble? Okay, they're signs to patrol the wilderness, but no such luck. He's heading to Blueberry. Keep a tight leash on him, make sure he knows the ropes and doesn't screw things up. W. We have a problem. According to this letter, the sheriff is on his way to town. It seems that this guy here was sent to assess the situation. Well, he won't be assessing anything now. We need to act fast and take care of the body. Time is not on our side. This will make our job much harder, Cheyenne. I just want the cash. Don't worry, I'll sort the body Damn. out. Playing the outlaw seems easier when you're not dodging the sheriff's gaze. Just gotta hope he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Nothing to see here. Another one? I haven't finished with the previous one yet. Sorry, love. Trying to talk to the sheriff. He doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, he's so coming in, isn't he? I was doing nothing but sweeping my beautiful floors here, sheriff. Oh, good evening. How are you, my friend? Hey, look, I found some money on the floor. So, barkeep, are you the reason I ended up in this here hole? I don't think so. I'm just trying to run my business. I don't get in anyone's way. Well, what's your name anyway? Cheyenne. Listen, Cheyenne, my name is Hank Custer and I am the new sheriff in town. They sent me here because rumors reached the authorities that the town is starting to thrive. And whose fault is that? You mean to say it's credit, right, Hank? 
For you, it's Sheriff Custer. Let me tell you this, this damn place needs a firm hand, and mine is as firm as they come. The sooner the town is seen as peaceful, the quicker I can get a promotion. I won't interfere with the Sheriff's work. You have my word. And damn fucking well, Cheyenne. Think of me as the leader of the Wolf Pack. As long as you obey, you can feel safe. Now show me what kind of drinks one can pull off here. Surprise me. Okay. Blueberry is a new sheriff. Your actions will now be closely monitored. Be mindful of his reactions to avoid getting into trouble. Okay, I've got to be careful now. Bitters? Fresh peach? In this one-horse town? How am I supposed to find those around here? Okay, I've got to go buy some new stuff. What the hell? How am I supposed to do that? Yeah, I don't have half these things, so yeah, that doesn't really make any sense how I'm supposed to do this. Don't have any of those things. You can have a lemon slice, and you can have some ice cubes. I, mean, I didn't want to Did piss you know him off. I could throw you in jail for what you served me? Disgusting. I'm just starting out, Sheriff Custer. Next time, the drink will be perfect. Let's hope so. If I see you causing any problems, we'll quickly fall out of favor. And do you know what wolves do to those who get in their way? I assure you, Sheriff, you won't have any issues with me. Very fucking well. Now it's time for me to leave. Don't stir up trouble, Cheyenne. Didn't even pay for his drink. Oh, and one more thing. Could you check on that poor fellow who came with me? He might need some help, and I'm beat from the journey. day. Cheyenne, the new bartender. Nice to meet you. I'm Earl. I can help you with those crates. No. I can handle it. It's no trouble. Let me... I can't pay you. Go away. I... I don't want money. It's just a friendly gesture. Hmm. That's new. Listen, these crates are really heavy. That's not a problem. All right, just don't drop them and don't expect a discount. Discount and what? Huh. Ah. Told you. Put it here. Well, let me pick up another one. There we go. I'll have to wait so, for him. You decided to come back to Blueberry. The big city business didn't work out? 
The boss values peace. And the lack of competition. What's his name? Her. Addie McKay. So, Earl and Addie. For you, it's Miss McKay. Sorry. When is she coming? Soon. Okay. There's one left. Could you go get it? I'll start unpacking. Sure. Damn. I need to pick this up. What's this? Okay, so they were obviously um, things so we could build stuff. Maybe we can construct our own stuff then. That's cool. You haven't decided where you want me to put this one though. Must have left some things on the floor. Well, I don't see anything. Oh, now it's appeared. How weird is that? All right, that's it. When can I buy furniture from you? We'll start production when the boss arrives, but there are still a few unsold pieces in the basement. I'll get rid of it for the price of firewood. Can I see? Sure. Do you know what? I think I'd prefer... One more thing. Take this. For the help. I told you. Take it. I don't like unpaid debts. Like I said, a friendly gesture. Have it your way. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to leave this uh, for today. I just wanted to kind of see how the game was going to look. And customize your saloon only when it's closed. Okay, well, we knew that anyways. Let's do a little rearranging here. Uh, so look, we can actually change these things. I've got no other skins or patterns, though. But look, everything looks like it's going to be customizable. Uh, which I like. Uh, obviously, it wants me to swap out these new tables, obviously. It already looks better. May I? She wants something now. Everybody wants something, don't they? Thanks. You're half. For the first corpse. Half? Yep. Half. Didn't W tell you? About what? Damn. Well, anyway. You will find out sooner than me what this key opens. Judging by where he hid it, it must open something valuable. Wait, hold on. You mean to say you'll pay me for bringing you bodies? If I find something on them. And if the body didn't belong to the sheriff or some other big shot. For such hot merch, I take everything for myself. 
Sounds fair. I think so too. One more thing. I won't be checking their pulse if you know what I mean. See you. You mean? Oh. Never mind. What's this? Yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it for us, isn't it? It's uh, We've unlocked the bedroom now. I don't want to go any further because it is a prologue or a demo. I, I just I want to be able to do this again in, in the game itself. If that interests you, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new and hit that like button on that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.